Huntington Ingalls Industries HII, has delivered the final Flight 2A Arleigh Burke Destroyer Lena Sutcliffe Higby DDG-123 to the U.S. Navy. This represents the official transfer of the ship from the shipbuilder to the Navy. A small ceremony was held at the Pascagoula, Mississippi Yard, during which the shipyard signed over ownership of the ship. Higby was procured as part of a 2013 multi-ship award between Ingalls and General Dynamics Bath Ironworks, Maine. The keel was laid in 2017 and the ship launched in 2020. Carrie Wilkinson, president of Ingalls Shipbuilding, in a statement said, Delivering an incredibly capable finished ship to the Navy is always an important event for our Ingalls team. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Lena Sutcliffe Higby could be an important addition to the U.S. Navy. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks, and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. So grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship and three days of premium account time as a bonus. The ship is named for Lena Sutcliffe Higby, who was the second superintendent of the Navy Nurse Corps during World War II and the influenza pandemic, according to a 2017 piece in Naval History magazine. Higby was awarded the U.S. Navy Cross in 1920 for distinguished service in the line of her profession and unusual and conspicuous devotion to duty as superintendent of the Navy Nurse Corps, according to her citation. The ship is scheduled to be commissioned in Key West next year. Higby will be the last Flight 2A for Ingalls before the transition to the Flight 3 line. Program Executive Office Ships DDG-51 Class Program Manager Captain Seth Miller said, The program is proud to lead construction and delivery of Lena Sutcliffe Higby. He added, our industry partners have delivered another highly capable ship that will provide our sailors and nation with warfighting lethality for decades to come. The delivery of this ship comes at a critical time to the nation and will further strengthen Navy surface fleet. DDG-123, being an Arleigh Burke-class destroyer, is among the largest destroyers built in the United States. It has an overall length of 155 meters and a displacement of about 9,600 tons. The Arleigh Burke design incorporates several stealth configurations like angled rather than traditional vertical surfaces. It makes these warships hard to target by anti-ship missiles. For propulsion, it has four General Electric LM2500-30 gas turbines generating 75 megawatts of power, driving two shafts. It has a speed of 30 plus knots, that's 55 plus kilometers per hour, and a range of 4,400 nautical miles, or 8,100 kilometers. The destroyer is built around the Lockheed Martin and Spy 1D air search radar and the Aegis Combat Systems Baseline 9C2, according to Naval Sea Systems Command. The Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense System is designed by the United States Department of Defense Missile Defense Agency to protect against short and intermediate range ballistic missiles. Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense is devised to intercept ballistic missiles post boost phase and prior to re entry. The four fixed arrays of SPY direct electromagnetic beams in all directions concurrently and continuously. 
So the targets are tracked without interruption. The radar can be made to focus on a single target when needed without blinding the warship against other threats. The new radar is designed to help ships track missile and aircraft threats at farther ranges while maintaining resilience to noise and other forms of interference. Higby has AN-SQS-53C sonar array. This is the latest variant of AN-SQS-53 series sonar. It's a computer-controlled surface ship sonar that can work in both active and passive mode. It can provide precise information for anti-submarine warfare control and guidance. Higby would be equipped with AN-SQR-19 Tactical Toad Array Sonar TACTAS. The AN-SQR-19 provides very long-range passive detection against the enemy submarine. Higby has in total 96 cells Mark 41 Vertical Launch System VLS. These can be configured with the combination of the following weapons based on the mission requirements, such as SM-2MR Block 3B for air defense and anti-ship roll, SM-3 for ballistic missile defense, ESSM for anti-missile roll, ERAM or SM-6 for anti-air warfare with a range of 150 miles or 240 kilometers and speed of Mach 3.5. BGM-109 Tomahawk for land attack, as well as RUM-139A VL ASROC for anti-submarine roll, two Mark-141 Harpoon missile launcher for anti-ship roll can also be accommodated. It's also expected to have two Mark-32 triple torpedo tubes for Mark-46 and Mark-50 torpedoes. Higby would be able to accommodate two helicopters, like MH-60R Seahawk Lamps 3, that are capable of anti-submarine warfare. The warship is also equipped with a long-range naval gun and multiple close-in weapon systems. The delivery follows the completion of U.S. Navy acceptance trials in the Gulf of Mexico in October. The ship's onboard systems, including navigation, damage control, mechanical and electrical systems, combat systems, communications and propulsion applications, met or exceeded Navy specifications, NAVC said at the time. Arleigh Burke-class destroyers are highly capable, multi-mission ships that can conduct a variety of operations, from peacetime presence and crisis management to sea control and power projection all in support of the U.S. defense strategy. The important aspect is the Arleigh Burke class is versatile, and since they're present in a decent number, they provide a lot of flexibility to the U.S. Navy. This has great strategic importance as the U.S. Navy is now facing a significant challenge from China. Higby will certainly add to the American military's endeavor to maintain an edge against its rival especially since Ticonderoga-class cruisers are slowly being decommissioned. Subscribe for more videos like this, hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.